everyone, one of the questions that I've received several times in the last couple of weeks is how do we take information from a Google Sheet and move it into another Google Sheet where we can only share bits and pieces of it? What happens in education is we gather information, you know, where we go and we pull information from a, a Google form. We then gather this data, we cur curate it, we look at it, but a lot of times there is private information or information that not everybody needs to see. And so what we're looking at here is a sample survey that I gave just to gather some basic data from teachers in our building where I asked them, favorite candy, random topic. But let's say you have information on students that have submitted work or you're keeping data on students. And, and parts of that, say it's this column here, everybody needs to be able to see but the data in this column maybe isn't for everyone's eyes to view. And so how do we move this data or whatever data it is that you want from here to another spreadsheet automatically in real time where you're not constantly copying and pasting and updating time and time again as information keeps popping in? Well, there is a great function that does this. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to walk you through and hopefully this will be the solution to the problem or the plague um, of frustration that many of you have. So like I said, here's the form that I gave just to gather information as we're, we're sampling a lot of different tools. And let's say that I want to pull these two columns, D and E. What we can do is we're going to open up a brand new Google Sheet and that's what this one here is. I've just called it import range for the sake of this demo. And I can pick anywhere I want for this data to import. And this is going to be the Google Sheet that I would then share back out and say in this case with staff where I want them to be able to see just those columns. You don't need tools or extensions or add-ons or anything to make this work, which is really, really nice. All you need to be able to do is use the function tab. And so here we go. Here's what you're going to type in. We're going to add the function. And anytime you do a function, you always start with the equal sign. And so we're going to go through, let's just say I want it to post right here. We're going to put the equal sign. And then the function that we're going to be using is called import range. And you're going to see it auto-populate here in just a minute. And what I can do here now is I can start to add the information. And now here's all the information about this function. You can jump down here and learn um, a lot more if you wanted to. Um, Here's all the help and everything that you would need. And I believe that there may be even some tutorials or other things available. But here it is. We need to add the spreadsheet key. So I've got import range. I'm going to go back to my form. And the import or the key that we need to pull is up here in the web browser in the URL. And it's right past the D here. So with this backslash, and it goes from there all the way to the other backslash. This is the sheet key. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to bounce back here to the, the spreadsheet that I want to share with people. And you've got to use quotations. So I'm going to add that in there. There's my import key. And then we add a comma. And now it's just the range. Um, and so i got to figure out what it is that I want to share here. So I want to add the information from this tab. And so down here, this tab is called responses. So I'm going to add that back over here, responses. And then we have to put an exclamation point. And now we put our range. And I could say from D to F. I'm going to put that in quotations, close out the functions, and now it should run. And boom, there it is. Here is D, E, and F, last name, favorite candy, random topic, and there it is, right where I placed it. Now if I want to move that, I can simply copy that. I delete that out, it all goes away, and I can move it up here, I can paste my function there, boom, there we go. Now I can pick whatever it is that I want, and now when I go into the Google Form, let me show you what will happen. It'll be it'll be live time now um, in terms of what we want to do. So if I pull up this form, okay, you can see down here the last one is um, this fake one that I put in for a, a previous demo. 
But I can go here. I'm going to preview this just to fill it in. Um, John. Skittles, um, Pirates. So now, here's the form. So this has already been, this is new, this is lifetime. Boom, there it is. Okay, we can see that it's got popped up down here. Okay, and now in the range, in this new spreadsheet, it's already down here as well, lifetime. So as you're importing data, if we're using Google Forms to track behavior or grades or whatever it might be, it'll automatically populate for you. I hope this tip helps. I think it's a game changer. What we're looking at now in a future episode is to use this function with Autocrat to do some really awesome grade populations and data sorting and, and pulling kids' information in your classroom to be really, really effective to pull this and then move it into a, a nice template to be super helpful and friendly for, for teachers and giving real-time feedback to students. If you've got other solutions, tips, tricks, ideas, please leave a comment. And until the next episode, stay awesome.